had but his own two eyes to explore the wonders of his world. Then he invented the microscope, a mighty eye, and discovered the fantastic universe beyond the limits of his own meager sight. Now your adventure through inner space has begun. Through Monsanto's mighty microscope, you will travel into the incredible universe found within a tiny fragment of a snowflake. I am the first person to make this fabulous journey. Suspended in the timelessness of inner space are the thought waves of my first impressions. They will be our only source of contact once you have passed beyond the limits of normal magnification. 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 I am passing beyond the magnification limits of even the most powerful microscope. These are snowflakes, and yet they seem to grow larger and larger. Or can I be shrinking, shrinking beyond the smallness of a tiny snowflake crystal? Indeed, I am becoming smaller and smaller. These tiny bits of snowflake crystal tower above me like an enormous wall of ice. Can I penetrate this gigantic prism? And yet this wall of ice only seems smooth and solid. From this tiny viewpoint, I can see that nothing is solid, no matter how it appears. And still I continue to shrink. What compelling force draws me into this mysterious darkness? Can this be the threshold of inner space? What are these strange spheres? If I reach the universe of the molecule? Yes, these are water molecules, H2O. They vibrate in such an orderly pattern because this is water frozen into the solid state of matter. These fuzzy spheres must be the atoms that make up the molecule. Two hydrogen atoms bonded to a single oxygen atom. And I see it's the orbiting electrons that give the atom its fuzzy appearance. And still I continue to shrink. Is it possible that I can enter the atom itself? Electrons are dashing about me like so many fiery comets. Can I possibly survive? pierced the wall of the oxygen atom. I am so infinitely small now that I can see millions of orbiting electrons. They appear like the Milky Way of our own solar system. This vast realm, this is the infinite universe within a tiny speck of snowflake crystal. And there, is the nucleus of the atom. Do I dare explore the vastness of its inner space? No, I dare not go on. I must return to the realm of the molecule before I go on shrinking forever. Oh, how strange. The molecule.
molecules are so active now. They have become fluid, freed from their frozen state. That can only mean that the snowflake is melting. Melting. Yes, the snowflake has melted, but there is no cause for alarm. You are back on visual and returning to your normal size. This has been one of many exciting adventures through inner space in a never-ending search for new ways to rearrange molecules for the benefit of mankind. Now, in our display area, you will see modern miracles created by rearranging the molecules of not only water, but of air, coal, petroleum, and many other raw materials. This is Monsanto.